Good Wednesday afternoon, Western Montana. I'm Emily Foster, and this is the 406, the Missoulians' weekday webcast. Here are the top headlines at this hour. The Ravalli County Sheriff's Office reports a Corvallis man died when a fire engulfed his mobile home. Judd McCown was in a mobile home east of Corvallis that caught fire Tuesday morning. Two other people escaped with help from firefighters. Authorities say the fire was caused by a lighted cigarette near a home oxygen supply. A 25-year-old Ronan man is dead after hitting a truck when it pulled out in front of him on Highway 93 between Pablo and Ronan yesterday. Authorities have not released the identity of the man who died. They say his car rolled into a guardrail when it hit the commercial truck, which was driven by a 47-year-old Polson man. The coroner's office at the Missoula County Sheriff's Office has identified Tuesday's gunshot victim on Graves Creek Road west of Lolo as 42-year-old Jeff Paul Gano. The cause and manner of death have yet to be determined, and the coroner's investigation is ongoing. Authorities do say Gano was cleaning a revolver when it discharged, hitting him in the chest. The Montana Parole Board has released former quarterback Ryan Leaf to authorities in Texas, where he was recently sentenced for violating his probation. The ex-San Diego Chargers and Washington State player has served more than two years in prison after breaking into a home near Great Falls in 2012 to steal prescription pills. The board says this decision means Texas authorities can extradite Leaf if they choose. If not, Leaf will likely be placed under a under parole plan under the supervision of both Montana and Texas. A German citizen who crashed a drone into a lake in Yellowstone National Park this summer has been banned from the park for a year and was ordered to pay $1,600 in fines and restitution. Andreas Messner was charged with four federal misdemeanors after a drone he was using to shoot video of a charity bicycle ride through the park crashed into Lake Yellowstone on July 18th. He is also sentenced to one year of unsupervised probation. Have a great evening, Western Montana. Check back with us on Missoulian.com for updates and breaking news from across the globe. That's the 406 for Wednesday, September 24th, 2014.